And that's the lesson of the extraordinary young man I told you about when I spoke to you three years ago. An Army Ranger, Sergeant First Class, Corey Ramsberg. A massive IED in Afghanistan nearly killed him. He was in a coma for months with severe traumatic brain injury. And I told you then how, when I saw him in the hospital, he had come out of the coma, but he still couldn't speak. And when I asked him how he was feeling, he, he slowly brought his hand up, and he, and he pulled his fingers together, and he gave a thumbs up. His mom was sitting there with him. A few days ago, I saw Corey and his family again, this time in Phoenix, where they live. So I wanted to give you an update on how he's doing. I won't, I, I suspect it won't surprise you to know that for Corey, the years since he was injured have been very hard. You know, brain surgeries, half a dozen of them, surgeries to replace part of his skull, eye surgeries, special procedures on his lungs, skin grafts, skin flaps, all told, dozens of surgeries and procedures. Rehab has been grueling. On a typical day, Corey wakes up and spends hours in therapy. Physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy. So progress has come slowly, but it has come. He had to learn the simple things all over again, how to speak, how to write his name, how to throw a ball. And this past spring, he reached another milestone. After years in the hospital and rehab facilities, he finally came home, greeted by hundreds of neighbors and friends, waving American flags. And so when I saw Corey a few days ago, he's still blind in one eye. He still struggles to move his left side. But the young man I had seen in that hospital bed, unable to speak, barely able to move, this time, he was in a chair, sitting up, alert, smiling, talking, and then he wanted to show me something. And he leaned out of his chair, and he reached out and he grabbed his walker. And with the help of his parents, he pulled himself forward, and he stood up, and he looked at me, and he gave me a sharp salute. And he said, he said, Rangers, lead the way. And his stepmom held one arm for balance, and I held the other. And then Corey took a step. Then another. And then another one after that. All the way across the room. Little by little, Corey is learning to walk again. And he's starting to get good on his recumbent bike. He hopes to bike in a race this fall, 42 miles. He's scheduled to move into his own home, adapt it to his needs with the help of a caregiver. Another step towards the greater independence he seeks. And so Corey says, you know, my recovery has not been easy. Nothing in life that's worth anything is easy. But he says, I don't give up. I don't give up. The war in Afghanistan may be ending, but for Corey and our disabled vets, the work has only just begun. Corey's 30 years old. His recovery, like so many of yours, will last a lifetime. But he won't give up because you haven't given up. And when it comes to our work, to making sure that our nation is fulfilling its promises to the men and women who served and sacrificed, America cannot give up either. I will not give up. We cannot give up. So long as I'm the United States President, I will make it my mission to make sure that America's right there beside you every step of the way. 
every step with Corey, every step with the DAV. God bless you. God bless our veterans. God bless the United States of America.